G'day guys, welcome back. Today uh, we're into our tier fives finally. Uh, we're going to have a look at the Kamikaze R. And uh, this is one of the other, oh, tips you can't really get a hold of unless uh, WG are doing a competition or, uh, you know, maybe some missions or something like that. This is a mission ship. I actually completed a whole range of missions uh, to get this ship. Uh, what <laughs> made it even uh, more spectacular is at the time I'd only just come out of surgery um, for a hernia operation so I was actually uh, boosted up on drugs and I was literally just sailing around uh, islands, shooting islands and whatnot. However, I did actually complete all of the missions. Um, something like 15 missions, something a week. Like that. It was a huge list of things, there's like 15 or 22 things you had to do and sync and uh, what have you, and I actually managed to get it all done, and I got the Kamikaze R. Now, you will see the Kamikaze, and I think there is the Fujin, is the other, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the Fujin, is the other model for this one as well. Uh, they're all the same ship, basically, they're just different, uh, different camos, and just, you mind bits and pieces, but essentially, they're all the same ship, they're the Kamikaze, this is the R version, uh, that I did in the missions. There is the Kamikaze which is out and about and the So let's have a look at that. Uh model wise. Let's have a look. I uh, might as well start from here. So you do have your engine boost, you have uh, your smoke. Uh, as you can see I've just got premiums on there. I don't know why. I was using the ship for something so uh, your damage control. Upgrade wise you get three upgrades. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Main armament mod one, of course. I always take. Reason being, it's a, a all over type thing. Um, really don't see a need for this. Uh, damage control system. Always take damage control system again. I don't see a need for propulsion or steering gear because if you put your damage control system and your captain has last stand, uh, basically these become null and void. And in this one I have chosen aiming system mode 1 so this one makes your gun turn faster but increases your reload time and this is just your uh, AA mount nothing much to it exterior wise going to the camouflage uh, minus 3 to detectability plus 4 to dispersion minus 10 to the cost and plus 50 to the pretty standard Again, you could take any. Oh God! Realize how many I've actually got there. Um, pretty much, you put any of these on that you'd like. Oh, there's my community contributor. Uh, and that's the product. ST was always easy because it's got ST written on it. But uh, when we got the community contributor and the subscriber ones, subscriber ones are the ones I give the codes out for. Okay. Community contributor are the ones that we're given as a contributor. Um, we think they'd actually have something marked on them. But that's getting away from it. Okay, armor layout. There you go, no armor. Okay, I'm glad we got that sorted. High ability hit points 11,100. Uh, up to 18 mils of armor, so you really, really do not want to get hit in this ship. Artillery wise, you have four single 120s. And that's it. One on the bow. Two in the midships position and one on the stern. Now, this is where the Kamikaze uh, differs from the Fujin. Uh, if I remember correctly, that, that gun on the Fujin actually points aft. Whereas on this one, all three point forward. Which actually makes it really easy if you uh, are attacking power one and you can just uh, duck and weave your ship, port the starboard, and get those guns to train. Uh, port the starboard, you can have three guns. So hang on, I'll bring up the stats for the main battery, there you go. Um, if you want to really go into the stats, just pause the video. Torpedoes, you have three dual 533s, 7 kilometers of 68 knots. Again, just bring up the stats real quick. A uh, very quick turn on them, 6 seconds to get a Maria. 47 seconds on the reload. So, uh, a defense, you have two single 7.7 millimeters. That's really shocking. 
literally two people sitting there with a 303 rifle shooting at aircraft. Uh, maximum speed is near on 40 knots, so this is really good. Uh, turning circle at 550 meters and 2.9 seconds on the rudder, so you can maneuver very quickly. And your concealment up on the screen, you guys can read the figures. Um, last time I didn't go through the captain, that was my mistake. This is pretty much a standard, I take um, preventative maintenance. Wargaming seems to think that you don't really need to have this one on destroyers. <laughs> um, little hint, too. Okay, this reduces the risk of you losing bits and pieces to make your destroyer work. Uh, last stand, of course, I always take. Quite simply, if you get your rudder knocked out, you get your engine knocked out, this thing is going to allow you to operate slowly, but you can still move, you can still maneuver. Uh, if you lose your engine and your rudder, uh, without this, you're going to be dead in the water, which means you're just the target. Always good to be able to maneuver, and um, this one, of course, takes uh, increases my smoke capacity and my speed boost. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go hop into a co-op battle and we'll go see uh, how well this thing actually works. Good moment. All right, here we go. Get underway. Uh, this time we ended up with aircraft carrier. Mm, big deal, Tony Vogue. Uh, Congo Miyogi they're going to be a problem, but uh, Kachuru and the uh, Svatlana, they're going to be real problems. Now, normally, I must work, uh, bots tend to go down the middle area, so hopefully I can get over to A, uh, get a cap happening. No tubes are reloading at the moment. out of a map. I'm so just waiting for the to just pop on this. That's my dog barking at the door if you can hear that. Now, sorry about that. Doggy's just been a little bit annoying this morning. Very unsettled. Very unsettling weather up here. Can't see the aircraft. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to get out of here. Uh, smoke's running out anyway. This dude's capping, and I didn't actually stop in the cap. Right, so we know he's over here. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm just going to cut down on that because yeah, aircraft carrier. Oh, and we'll just slow down and we'll cap this out. Even though it's a co-op game, always good to cap out.
a really bad uh, AA, but what I'm going to do is just turn keep speed up, keep it in a turn. He's going for the Spetlana. No, he was going for me. And there's the Congo. <coughs> now my preference would be to get my ship in front of this Svetlana. I've got better torpedoes. And I've also got the smoke. Oh, I will have sure. Oh, yep, that's uh, actually a bot. So he will actually go straight in. Hello. going to watch this kick ride straight into my torpedo. That's how you say team with a kamikaze and a Svetlana. Yeah, I, I thought I actually... Hmm. Okay. Didn't actually mean to do that. Let's go back to it. Woohoo! Oh. Way. Like, here's this, here's that. Most of them I don't even use. Container, um, woo, try your life, please. Random stuff here. Yep. I'll wait for that to come up as a stupid container. That way I can get like 100 flags or something again. Okay, cool. I'm not complaining about that. Um. So yeah, that's the Kamikaze R, as you can see. It's a fun little ship. I do like it. Uh, I think this is the second or third captain I've actually run through. So, you know, when you find a ship that's really fun to play, you really do uh, train up your captains pretty quickly. Take those captains off, put them on the higher tier ships. All good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, fair winds and the following seats.